dear friends, welcome again to our online classes. I am Noemi Payimal from Education 3000. Today we have a beautiful subject. I know, I always say that, right? <laughs> it's about schools, but schools as embassies or ambassadors of peace. And it's a beautiful program we started last year, 2000. 19 and the, the idea is to transform the school or any learning environment actually and in the long run of course the whole society in a beautiful peace place and the peace um, like peace embassies or peace ambassador when we really propagate this peace and this those new paradigms of solidarity and really change the word and we the, the schools are the perfect place for that not only to reduce bullying but to have this beautiful vision and to actually do it you know that if a kid a, the children when they are under seven years old and they have a habit this habit is supposed to be with them for their entire life so no violent communication peace culture ethic, that's the best habit to have, the best values to have before seven years old. And of course, we can use the schools for that. Okay, let's start for today with our schools, embassies of peace, or ambassadors. I like the word ambassadors because we are all active and we are all ambassadors of peace inside the school. It's not like we, one person is name the ambassador or the peacemaker and that's it. No, no, the entire school is involved in the process. And it's very nice. All this material we did it with... Okay, with Nelly Chavaria. Nelly is an... an Educator for Peace, she has an association, it's called Educator for Peace in Mexico. And uh, with her, we started the old program, Schools Ambassadors of Peace, of Peace Ambassadors. And it's a very necessary program everywhere around the world. So remember, we had a video on peace in the first series of videos, just uh, as a reminder, we have several levels of peace. The first one you know, is known as a Greek peace, by Greek peace or Irene, that's the name of my granddaughter actually. The one who brings peace is a synonym of harmonia or what's a harmony. So for the, for the Greek, is, peace culture was like, but it's called the peace culture is like, everything is okay, everything is harmony. And we don't, it's like, shh, we, we are in peace. And it's not really facing issues, but try to calm down everybody, but not to fix the, the problem. That's called the Greek peace. And then from the Greek peace, we moved on to the, the so-called Roman peace, which uh, where I live can be the Inca peace, or the Mongol peace as well in China, I mean in Asia. And that would be peace by force. You know that... Um, during the Mongol Empire, the story says that uh, a young girl could walk from all the way from Beijing all the way to Turkey with gold, with some gold in a, in a pot, and then she won't be attacked, hurt, or nothing would happen to her. But that's a Roman piece, it's by force. And then we went with on, we moved on to Aimsa piece or no violence. And uh, it means more than not only not prejudice the other person, the other ones, but to exercise compassion. So it's much deeper. And uh, thanks to Gandhi, we had the Ahimsa peace. And then we try to move on and have the holistic peace, all levels of peace with peace of past 3000. Then we have, remember this peace flag from uh, 
Nicholas Rich, that was 1935, 1935. It was before the Second World War. And it was a huge movement to, to, to start this. And now, amazingly enough, after all those years, we start to have a lot of tools through the schools and a comprehension and a, a will to have this peace. And I'm talking about inner peace, local peace, national peace, and worldwide peace in this hall. And peace with nature, of course. So we had a program of Peace 2000. It's called I Can Choose and I Choose Peace, where we, we want to make people, it's an awareness a movement or campaign. So this is the three levels of peace peace with oneself, peace with other, peace with nature. And then, uh, if you remember the other video, we have now eight levels, peace with oneself, peace in the school. So the video of today, School Ambassadors of Peace is about that, how to do that, how to reach our goal. Peace in the family and lineage, local and national peace, peace with nature, extremely important. Peace in the world, peace with everything, it's called universal peace, actually, and peace with history and religion. So all that can be done inside the school, but what I would like to see, oh, and we had books. We had several books. One is a little one called Peace 3000, and the other one is Active Peace, where it's uh, about um, what to do. It's um, a report of all the experiences and uh, successful initiatives around the world having peace inside a school or a community, and uh, it's very practical. So for school ambassadors of peace, it's like to reach culture through education, and it's a program, and we want to make peace visible. By peace visible, it's like, let's say it's a school. This school is an ambassador of peace. So as soon as you enter the school, even before, outside, because you can make moral and you can make some make visible this place is a peace culture place. It can be visible because there is a way we can put a flag, you can put some words, and not only words, you can feel it when you enter. And this, uh, and you instate, you start a culture. What do I mean by culture? We start the cycle of violence, because violence is most of the time escalating process. Oh, you don't want that, so I don't want that either. So you shout at me, so I shout, I shout at you. And then you, and the, this and this. And then I want to be right. No, I am right. I am right. And then you end up with war, something for something really little, stupid. So we want to stop this escalating process or this cycle of violence and revert it. And then instead it what's, what's called a durable peace culture. And that's why we started this program. And when it's when violence is not anymore accepted culturally, socially, and implicitly. It's like, oh, it's okay, there is some bullying. Oh, no, it's the way it is here. It's a violent place. No, we revert that. There is no reason. We create the violence so we can create the peace as well. So we call this um, our program an awareness process and the protocol to strengthen peace culture in a school environment. And it's an old program, it takes two years. And the all educational center, everybody will take responsibility and a compromise and fully participate. It's everybody, the teachers, the staff, the family, and all the students. And after that, even the neighborhood and the storekeeper around the school, and then it would just parade. With the program, we have five phases for the program Schools Ambassadors of Peace. We have a dynasty diagnostic and awareness, awareness process, like a, a preface, when we make the intention visible for everybody. The peace program, it's one school year, 
and then the phase two and the follow-up. And we strongly suggest the follow-up will be a beautiful seven petal school. So we start with the diagnose, with diagnostic and solution. It's a test, yeah, I <laughs> do you won't believe me. Yes, it's a test, it's 100 questions, but with these questions, it helps to find the solution because it's a design to find practical solution and it's easy to carry out. So the test can be done, if possible, with, by, it's done by everybody, the students, the teachers, the parents, the staff. If not possible, ask at least maybe the director or somebody who knows the school very well from inside to answer the most um, objectively possible. The nine, this diagnostic is uh, pretty complete and it covers 10 areas. And I want to share with you because it will help to see all the levels of peace and all the action field we can attend with that. Physical well-being, of course, if you <laughs> feel good physically, you will have peace inside and with others. Cognitive well-being, social and emotional development, of course, art expression and creativity, part of the peace process, ecological development, peace with nature, self-sustainable development, personal development or self-awareness, physical environment for peace. Yes, we can arrange the learning center so it will attract peace and let's say give you a peace mood by the way things are laid out and, uh, and done. Human environment and the relationship with the community and the visibility of the culture of peace. And each item is divided with 10 sub questions or ideas to do how to get that. So this is uh, the, the diagnosis is in our website, in English and in Spanish. Please type uh, schools, ambassadors of peace. And you have the diagnostic as well in the, in the website. And then we have what's, a, what's called the sensibilization. It's the first part. It's very simple to have like a, a, a good startup. We make peace visible with an awareness phase. We can organize a peace day or a peace party or plant trees. We can make our own peace flag. So people are, oh, something is happening. We are going to have a peace flag. How, so now we have to do something for that. We can make a piece of art a, with peace. <laughs> a piece of peace. <laughs> of, <laughs> yeah, a piece of art with peace. You can have some messages of peace on the wall, so it's visible. People know now there is a whole change of the culture from violent culture to peaceful culture. Watch movies of inspiring person that's worked with peace. I'm thinking about Mandela, Nelson Mandela, Dainama, Gandhi. So it's like, um, at the beginning from, of some awareness. The, the movies works very well. I, you can make a movie festival or a concert as well. And then we can conduct a ceremony to raise a, the peace flag when everybody's agreeing, of course. Then we have an eight months program and it depends on the diagnosis, but um, it's not like to follow all the steps according to the result of the diagnostic you know which area you want to work on and you build your own, let's say, your own plan, your own strategy. And some activities that can be included, we can have routine to reduce stress, breathing exercise. Some people put some aromatherapy. aromatherapy. Remember when you have some nice smell, it will calm down the reptilian brain. You have, can have the development of socio-emotional skills. So all the tools for emotional intelligence we can use here. No violent communication and conscious communication. All the tools should be done at the beginning, actually. Positive self-discipline. Establish maybe a mediation, mediation council 
for con con conflict attention and transformation composed of teachers and students. At the beginning, at the end, it's not even necessary, but just to feel a little bit more secure and to know to who we can turn to if there is something we can handle. And then we go step by step, one value per month. So that's very nice. You can use, um, I don't know, one month we work on friendship, empathy, nature, inner connection. We have the no violent communication activities. We have values like friendship, teamwork, peace culture in the world, multiculturality, exchanges, inner peace. This is a, a, a big subject. Peace with others and peace with nature. After those eight months, we can have like um, something visible, like um, artistic show, or maybe a concert, or maybe a great peace celebration involved in the neighborhood, maybe the town. We do the diagnosis again, or the nice diagnostic again, and we see the results, and we prepare the plan for the next year. Each month, it's highly recommended to do one mindfulness class, step by step, or any other personal development technique. And in months, it would be nice to have everything visible on the wall of the school, so everybody knows the work of everybody and is completely visible. And when you have visitors, they, they see, they clearly see, oh, I can see it's a peace culture place and I can feel it and I can see how people relate inside. Phase two is more extended and it's, um, it's larger. It will encompass all the school, all the families and the community. It will um, involve more. I mean, it will ask, I mean, it's like the first year, but it's deeper and uh, it involves a lot of personal development, especially with the staff and the family and the teachers. Then there is a, a part, the social part and the ecological in, um, impact of the peace culture. And it can be, for instance, you can do fairs or, uh, yeah, fair um, meetings with the families. And it's called peace fair, or it can be some activities with street children. You, you, you can make uh, activities with, um, local authority and help concretely a group inside the community, inside the town or the neighborhood. Maybe some, do some activities with grandparents and uh, children in need. And then we can do the follow-up. And for the follow-up, it would be nice to implement the seven better schools and um, have peace culture in each place. Then we can see in the seven petal schools, all the petals leads actually lead to peace culture, the physical well-being, the cognitive well-being, the emotional and social well-being, the ethic, the aesthetic too, the art. The green petal is peace with nature. The red petal is peace with our vocation, with what we would like to do on earth and personal development. So that's a program definitely I would recommend. I would suggest, of course, all peace project, all peace process, all activities involving peace starts with oneself. And that's the beauty of it because we grow this inner peace and this inner peace is deep, 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 deep. And it's like a reconnection with, with who we are, with our purpose of life, with the society, with others, but it starts here. So that's the invitation, enjoy it. And um, I see you on the next video. The next video is about post-trauma process. I will tell you what we did in the refugee camps and you can be done with any kind of situation. It's very useful. So, see you soon. Mm -hmm.